Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritez Dolakia, is going to explain you examples on simple ones complement and twos complement sign representation. And you can easily understand all these examples if you have seen my previous three sessions based on simple sign representation, ones complement signed representation, and twos complement sign representation. And here I'll give you a few examples in practice and you write down your answer in comments so that I can understand I'm explaining things properly to you and you are getting it over here. So let us have first question. So here we have been given with one number that is 1011. So if this number that is there in simple sign representation, then what is that decimal number which is there with this? So if I consider first case that is simple sign representation so in that case as per this number that is 1011 I need to see first bit and first bit is 1 so it explains given digit that is negative and uh, this rest bits that explains uh, number so this is 011 so that explains this is 3 so I can say in simple sign representation this number that is minus 3. Now I'll explain you this number in ones complement. So if I consider ones complement so in that I need to see this number first 1011 and in that this first number that is 1 it explains this number is negative right and as this number is negative at last we will give negative sign to given number and in ones complement we need to do ones complement of given number right so if i do ones complement of given number then that will be 0 1 0 0 so that will be that will be ones complement and if you see this so that is 0, 1, double 0, that is 4. And as I have told you from this, this indicates sign. And sign is negative. So here I need to say negative and this is 4. So in one's complement, this answer is 4. Now I'll explain you this in two's complement. Now here again, we need to see first bit that is sign and this indicates sign and sign is negative that we can say and now we need to do two's complement of this number so first we need to do one's complement and one's complement that is 0 1 0 0 right that is invert of this so that we have done already so this is one's complement if i add one with this then I will be getting 2's complement, right? So if I add 1 with this, I will be getting 2's complement. So that is 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is 5 and as per sign is negative, this is minus 5. So in 2's complement, this is minus 5. And as if I want to calculate this example in normal decimal system right or one can say binary to decimal then you will be finding in terms of binary to decimal this 1011 that is this is 8 plus 2 plus 1 so 8 plus 2 plus 1 that is 11 so I can say this is 11 in decimal so that is how simply we can convert any given number into signed representation with simple sign representation, one's complement sign representation and two's complement sign representation. Now here I'll be going to give you one example in practice and you write your answer in comments. So you write down your answers for this number 1100. And I'll check it in comment. If any question is there, then definitely I'll get back to you. So this is question number one. 
Now we will solve second example over here. So here in second example, we have been given with numbers and we are delivered to convert that into one's complement, two's complement and simple sign representation. So let me write this question first. So now we have these numbers and that is what we are dealing with to convert in one's complement, two's complement and simple sign representation. So here in one's complement from first digit we can say this is negative number right so I am placing negative sign and if you do one's complement of this then that will be 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 that is 3 so I can say one's complement that is minus 3 for this number as per one's complement sign representation now we need to see first digit that is 1 over here so over here even we can say this is negative digits and one's complement of this number that is 0 0 1 1 so 0 0 1 1 again that is 3 in one's complement sign representation for this number we need to see first number and that is 1 and as per that sign is negative and if you do one's complement of this then that will be 0 0 0 1 1 and that is even 3 so I can say this is minus 3 in one's complement sign representation for this even we can say first bit is 1 so this is negative and one's complement of this that is 0 0 0 0 1 1 so that is minus 3 again similarly for two's complement similarly for two's complement I need to check first bit so first bit is 1 so that is showing negative sign and 2's complement that is 1's complement plus 1 so 1's complement that I have already written right so minus 3 plus 1 so that will be minus 4 over here even minus sign is there so 1's complement plus 1 that is 2's complement sign representation so this is minus 3 so over here it is minus 4 again and over here again it is minus 3 so this will be minus 4 and here even that will be minus 4 and in simple sign representation if you see these numbers then this is having my one number over here so that explains sign so I need to say minus sign over here and 0 0 that explains 0 now this one explains negative sign and one double zero that is four this act this one explains negative sign and double one double zero so that is double one double zero that is eight plus four so that will be to twelve and this is having first bit digit that is one so negative sign then triple one double zero so this is four eight 16 so 16 plus 8 24 plus 4 28 so minus 28 so see this is how we can convert any number into one's complement sign representation two's complement sign representation and simple sign representation and why i have solved this example the reason is i want to convey this message when you do one's complement and two's complement at that time if sequence of one is there then it won't matter right so this one's that is not having any significance you can see in one's complement and in two's complement it does not give any significance so let us try to understand this by one example so here if i give you series of ones like this and then zero one zero see this is my data and now if i want to calculate one's complement sign representation then you will be finding see this series of data see as this first digit that is 1 I need to say negative sign is there and all these ones that won't matter in calculation we just need to see this in one's complement and this will be one's complement of this is 101 so that is 5 so one's complement sign representation is minus 5 for this 
and now if you want two complement sign representation then one complement sign representation plus one so that will be minus six over here for two complement sign representation see that is why i have solved this example i hope that you have understood this now i'll give you one problem and i have seen in competitive examination this types of problems are coming so i thought i should solve one question like this so that one can easily understand this topic in detail so here question is so here we have been given with a and b in two complement sign right so a that is given as per 0110 and b that is given as per 1001 and that is given in two complement and our agenda is to identify a plus b and a minus b in three different sign representation simple sign representation one's complement sign representation and two's complement sign representation right so see this is given a and b that is given in two's complement sign representation right so here when you solve this problem you need to see first digit and here for a first digit is 0 so that is positive and you don't need to do anything as if this is positive so 0110 that is positive 6 110 that is positive 6 now if you see this b then b is having first digit that is 1 it means this digit is negative and we need to do two complement of it so this digit is negative and one's complement of this will be 0110 that is one and if you add one with this so that will be 0 311 so that is two's complement and as this sign is negative i need to say this is minus 0 311 that is 7 so this is minus 7 so a is equals to plus 6 and b is equals to minus 7 that we can say now first let me calculate what is a plus b so a plus b that is 6 minus 7 means it is minus 1 now we need to represent this minus 1 in simple sign representation in ones complement and in twos complement sign representation right so as if you do simple sign representation so in simple sign representation we can directly say this negative sign that indicates one right and after that one is there that we can represent as per one so one one that will be our answer in simple sign representation right now for ones complement sign representation as this data is negative for ones complement we need to solve this so as this data is negative right at last as this data is negative at last we need to do ones complement of this one right so ones complement of one that is zero right and first we need to have zero padding over here and this one that i need to write this is usual representation of one and ones complement of this that is 1 0 right so this is ones complement so here one should understand this as per representation first we need to do zero padding over here and then digit that is one so 0 1 and then ones complement of it that is 1 0 so that is ones complement sign representation now in twos complement sign representation in twos complement sign representation first we need to have normal one over here a ahead of this there will be zero padding and then we need to do ones complement of this so that is 10 which is ones 
and after that we need to add one with this so that will be two's complement so that will be one one so this will be two's complement sign representation right now there is one more question which is there with this and that is a plus b and a minus b so a minus b so that is 6 minus 7 my 6 minus minus 7 so that will be 13 so that will be positive 13 now as if we want to calculate this in simple sign representation so in simple sign representation as this is positive first bit will be 0 and then I need to write 13 so 13 will be 1 1 0 1 so that is 13 so in simple sign representation it will be first digit that will be representing polarity which is positive and then 13 that is 1 1 0 1 in one's complement in one's complement so in one's complement and in two's complement if digit is positive you don't need to do any process as it is there with simple sign representation so that will be same as simple sign representation right so in one's complement and in two's complement you don't need to calculate anything as it is there with simple sign representation positive data will be same right so that is how one can easily calculate any digit if it is given to you i hope that now it is clear to all like how to convert given decimal digit with sign in simple sign representation in one's complement sign representation and in two's complement sign representation now here i'll give you one problem in practice now see question is same only you will have to add and subtract for a and b now i'm changing a and b if a is equals to 1100 0, 0, and if b is equals to 1 0, 0, 1 if this is the case then write your answers in comment right so this is homework question so this is homework question 2 write your answer in comments definitely i'll get back to you and based on your answers i'll place videos in future so that i can make sure like you are studying it properly over here thank you so much for watching this video